These shrimp croquets are the perfect appetizer and one is never enough. Hi, you're watching Plating It at Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. Crispy on the outside and creamy on the inside, these shrimp croquets are simply irresistible. So let's get started. In a pot, we're going to add 900 grams of deveined and washed shrimp. We're going to season them with some salt and add one cup of water. You will notice that we're steaming the shrimps with the shells on. This is because we want to increase the flavor of the stock. Let's give it a stir so that the salt gets onto all the shrimp. Now on a medium heat, let's cover them and steam them till they are cooked. This should take about five to seven minutes. Now that they're steamed, let's take them off the heat and allow them to cool. Now we're gonna make the creamy white sauce or bechamel. In a heavy bottom pan on a medium heat, let's add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once the butter has melted, we're gonna add six cloves of garlic, which we have chopped fine. Let's saute the garlic till it flavors the butter. This is a great place to start because we all know that butter and garlic are the best friends of shrimp. Once the garlic has got a nice light golden color to it, let's add one finely chopped green chili. And for that little extra kick, let's add half a teaspoon of red chili flakes. For a little sweet flavor, we're gonna add half an onion, which we have finely chopped. Let's saute this till the onions turn translucent. Once the onions have cooked down, let's add four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And this is a good time to move on to a whisk. Let's whisk it continuously and cook it till the flour loses its raw flavor. To this we're going to scream in one cup of milk and whisk till we get a smooth sauce. Next we're going to add one cup of the strained shrimp stalk. This is going to take our sauce to another level. Now let's whisk it together till once again we get a smooth sauce. No white sauce or bechamel is complete without nutmeg. So we're going to add about half tablespoon of freshly grated nutmeg. Season this a bit more with about half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Give it a quick mix and let's add in half a cup of grated cheddar cheese. You could use any cheese of your choice. Whisk the cheese in till it melts and cook the sauce up till it thickens and gets a luxurious texture like this. We're going to take the sauce off the heat and allow it to cool and thicken. Now that the shrimps have cooled completely, let's shell them and then add them to our handy dandy chopper. The shrimps that I'm using come deveined. In case the shrimps that you're using are not deveined, then you'll need to devein them before boiling. This chopper is my favorite kitchen gadget and it chops anything that I need to cook in seconds. And if you're interested, I've left the link in the description box below. Let's empty this beautifully chopped shrimp into a large mixing bowl. The bechamel has cooled and thickened. Now we're gonna add it to the chopped shrimp. Oh my gosh, if you could only get the aroma. This is going to be irresistible. It's such a nice make ahead starter for the New Year's Eve. You can make this a day ahead and then just fry it up in time when your guests arrive. And to that, let's add half a cup of breadcrumbs the breadcrumbs and the bechamel together are going to help to hold the croquets in shape. And for that fresh flavor, let's add quarter cup of finely chopped cilantro. Now let's give this a good mix till the shrimps get well coated with the bechamel, the breadcrumbs and the cilantro. These are my favorite type of croquets. I just love the shrimp croquets. To let all the flavors combine and help the mixture to firm up so that we get that perfect shape to our croquets Let's refrigerate it for at least two to three hours. We're going to lay out a workstation to create an easy process to form and coat the croquets. In a bowl, let's crack three eggs and give them a whisk. On a board, we're going to lay down one and a half cup of our favorite breadcrumbs. To get evenly sized croquets, I'm choosing to use a medium sized trigger release ice cream scoop. You could just eyeball this if you wanted. Let's scoop out some of this mixture and roll it in the palm of our hands to form a mini log. Let's toss this into the egg and coat it on all sides. And using a fork, we're gonna lift it up and drain off the excess egg. 
Now let's place this in the breadcrumbs and coat it on all sides and give it a gentle roll so that the breadcrumbs stick onto it evenly. And now look at that perfectly shaped croquet. We're gonna place this on a plate and continue the process till we finish the mixture. If you're prepping ahead, you could now place these croquets in an airtight container, refrigerate them and fry them later. Come, let's fry the delicious babies. To fry the croquets, we're gonna fill a pot about one third full with some vegetable oil. Let's heat up the oil on a medium heat and to test whether it's the right temperature, we're gonna insert a bamboo skewer and once some bubbles appear on the top, we know it's come to the right temperature. To the heated oil, we're gonna to gently toss in the croquets and fry them till they get a lovely golden color. Now let's place them on a wire rack to drain off the excess oil and allow them to cool for about five minutes before we can enjoy them. Oh my goodness. Now, as I said, these are simply irresistible and I cannot wait any longer. So let's give these a taste. Wow. These are my favorite. Mmm. And if you're new to my channel or haven't subscribed already, subscribe. And if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching and a happy new year to one and all. And I'll see you in 2022.